Welcome back to Community Calendar. I'm your host, Raina, filling in today, and we've got Lance and Hunter here with us from the Boy Scouts. So, Boy Scouts, you have, a, uh, is it a chapter? What, what is it called? Well, we have Troop 674 Detroit Lakes, and we're Scouting America, formerly known as the Boy Scouts. Okay. Sorry about that. No, that's okay. <laughs> Everybody's still getting used to the new name, and it's just mainly to uh, get uh, scouting in line with all the rest of the world. Uh, there was a lot of confusion about all that, where it's like they're changing their name, they're changing everything. It's like, no, all the rest of the world is scouting Europe, scouting you know, France, scouting Germany. Well, we're scouting America. Okay. And so, Hunter, uh, how long have you been in scouts? Um, I've been in Cub Scouts since I was in first grade, so coming up on 13 years now, and then Boy Scouts from fourth grade until I graduate this coming up year. Okay, and so what do you like about being in Scouts? Um, I loved all the people I was with. Um, they all eagled out now, but I loved all the um, Scouts I was with and all the trips we've went on, and we really travel a lot and I've been on some very pretty bound like boundary waters trips and stuff with Boy Scouts that I wouldn't have experienced without it. Yeah okay so what what is uh, the Scouts and like what do you do? Well our main mission is to build the future leaders of tomorrow. Uh, our big thing is giving kids an opportunity to get out there and do things experience things they wouldn't otherwise get to do and uh, you know just really learn how to be a leader, how to be active in their communities, and do things. As you know, nowadays kids have phones. Well, you know, there's a lot more to this world than YouTube. What? <laughs> no. Um, okay, so what is an Eagle Scout? Um, it is the highest ranking Scouts. Um, you climb through all the ladder of um, levels as you go through Scouts, and the final is the Eagle, and you have to do six months as a troop as a Life Scout, and a, and a a leadership role in the troop and then you have to do the hardest part which is your scout project where you have to fully come up with put all the paperwork together and fund a project that um, can help your community or a certain institute um, in doing better so like mine was a scuba diving signs on axis informing the public on what scuba signs or scuba flags look like not to run them over because we're under them and I don't want to get hit by a boat but um, it's just all the work you've put in through your years of scouting all come together with this big project that you have to do at the end to get your eagle. And then you have your board of review, which is you sit down and kind of get grilled about your eagle project and your whole scouting career for about an hour. And then if you pass that, you become an eagle scout. Okay. And so you've got some badges here. What what are some of the things that that you do to get those? Uh, so all the badges are different things. It can be as small from my first badge ever was chess. I learned chess history and how to play chess and still got beat by my mom. So obviously I didn't learn very well. And then there's scuba, which I took the scuba diving class, the open water one, and I got that. Um, what we have, public speaking, it's just speaking out in public. But there's so many, I have veterinary medicine. You go into a um, animal hospital and you learn everything they do and what different types of um, equipment they have to use for the animals. And dentistry, you learn about your teeth and all that. And you just learn, depending on the merit badge, you learn a lot of different, more in-depth stuff on the subject. Okay, and, and so Lance, is there, do they all have to do everything that he has done in for badges, or is there other things? Well, when it comes down to it, a scout has to earn 21, well, no, excuse me, 22 merit badges. We just had one added. Uh, they have to earn 22 merit badges, 13 of which are required. That can be uh, personal finance, physical fitness, family life. Uh, but then there's a number of other merit badges, such as first aid, things that you really need as the core skills. And, you know, you think about it, you know, kids really don't get a great understanding of personal finance this goes I don't have a good understanding of you know, personal finance. a lot of people can't balance a checkbook I mean it, it happens but this really goes in depth and we bring in professionals from all different areas to teach these merit badges so like uh, for personal finance we had an investor come in who really broke it down over the course of several weeks and some merit badges are more involved than others but uh, like personal finance it's a three-month process you're tracking your own spending you're tracking uh, 
uh, goal setting and earning to attain that goal. Um, entrepreneurship, which is not an Eagle required one, kind of ties in with that. So uh, there's just a lot of in-depth learning that goes into the process. And from there, they have an option to continue on earning merit badges. Uh, the current record for our troop is, I believe, 80 merit badges. Uh, but, you know, I, I like this young man. He's a go-getter. I know uh, uh, he and another scout are kind of set to uh, try to break that record and go on even further. Excellent. And so now you have um, opportunities for people in this community to join. Exactly. So tell us about that. So, you know, the big thing that we look at, normally a lot of scout troops have a feeder organization, which in in our case, it's like the Cub Scouts, where the kids start out in elementary school, progress through, become a Weeblow Scout, and then from Weeblows into Boy Scouts. Well, after COVID, that kind of knocked the, the Cub Pack back because they couldn't have the meetings. We as older scouts were able to do online meetings and we kept things flowing uh, kept activities going we had to follow all the rules but you know it all worked but so what we've kind of gone through is we're kind of the victim of our own success so we had a core group we had like 22 scouts in our group and we had a couple move away so we dropped to 20 but then over the course of the last couple of years we've had 12 Eagle Scouts and that has really reduced our numbers but we've got so much gear I mean we've got uh, a brand new canoe trailer that was donated by BTD that stores all of our canoes for our trips uh We've got our camp trailer full of tents. We've got cooking gear. We've got everything. But the thing is, we need more scouts to use it. So we're out getting the word out that we really are recruiting. We want kids to get active, get involved, learn those skills that are so important these days. Taking a role in the community, doing things. You know, doing things is huge. And the thing that we want people to remember is the adventure doesn't begin until the trail ends. And that's what we're all about. My boys have had done, oh, my gosh, they've done campouts that survival campouts. You get flour, you get salt, you get pepper, and then you go out and find your your meals. And it's not just fishing. I mean, you know, we've done a lot of things, so we have fun with it. Sure. And so then how would people interested in move forward with that? Well, you know, the one thing that we're asking, you can go to scouting.org and you can uh, learn more about scouts there. You can also click on the link to find a local troop. Otherwise, I'm happy to give out my number. Uh, my own phone number is 701-238-9298. That's 701-238. 9298. You can give me a call. I'm happy to talk about it. Uh, it. Basically what we do is, I don't want to be just the only spokesperson for this. My scouts are the ones they're doing. They're learning. They're the best ones to talk to. So I usually try to hook people up with one of my scouts. Hunter here is my senior patrol leader and he's fantastic. Um, Hunter, I, I can't remember if I asked you this, but what is, has been your favorite thing that you've done so far from for scouts? Um, Definitely the um, different campouts with they they were older than me, but all the the core group of scout all the older scouts because it's just you're growing into a person in this age for anybody, and they were very nurturing as I grew up, and we had a lot of fun and we learned a lot of stuff, and I just would love to keep that tradition on with younger scouts um, in our troop. All right, well, super. So that's um, I'd say the name of the is Scouting America. Scouting America. Okay, so Scouting America. Um, if you're interested in that, please contact Lance and um, or go on their the website and um, get more information there. And um, God, it sounds like a wonderful organization, and I wish I could learn some of those skills. As of now, even. Well, we're <laughs> so. really active, too. Actually, we just got back from Medora from the 50th anniversary Camp Rell, and right now we're in process of planning a trip to Ontario to a Canadian scout camp. So that one's going to be kind of fun. Wow, it sounds, sounds awesome, and um, I hope you guys would take an interest in that, too, and contact Lance. So uh, we'll be back with more Community Calendar right after this.